it's very difficult to tell because uh, it depends on the individual, their number of years and so forth where they've been to. Mm -hmm. So you can't put a price tag on it, but I can tell you in general that of course India costs less than, mm -hmm. than Switzerland would cost. By the way, Switzerland costs less than the US, but uh, that's what many people don't realize. Mm -hmm. But of course it's all about brains, expertise and whatever. So we try and concentrate people with the right expertise in the right place. And I think in India what's lacking is and um, it's just a clear regulatory framework. You know, clear rules, same rules for everybody, for the regulators and for the companies. And we have to get there. That I think is at this point in time missing unfortunately. To the, it's not that there is no expertise no, or anything, it's, it's that uh, clear rules and framework are missing. You know, if you go to the US and look at FDA, it's all rules are clear, everybody knows what to do, boom. So it's more predictable? Well, it, it has to be because if you, if you are a pharma company and you make a, a long-term investment, you need to know, you know what the rules are. Mm. If you make a long-term investment and you know everything is fluid, it's extremely difficult for you. You so say I think that's the, the major issue. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, we do clinical trials where the expertise sits, mm -hmm. and uh, usually we do them in Europe or in the US um, and uh, to in various countries. So it depends a lot where the principal investigator sits and uh, a key opinion leader. Mm -hmm. There we don't make a distinction. And the European uh, framework is. Nobody admits it, but it's similar to FTA and the other way around. You know, of course, officially they're independent, but they talk and so forth.